All right, inside of here is my Vakorchin Scorpion. Let's take a look. There she is. You've seen her in a couple videos before, but this is the review. And the review is, it's got grips on it, it's red, it's made by Vakorchin, it's very accurate, and it takes Ruger Mark III magazine. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm just yanking your chain. Let's shoot this sucker. Finally, a review on the Scorpion. Let's shoot it a few times and let me talk about it. First off, you can barely see a little bit of a white golf ball on top of that dueling tree. Let me see if I can pop it off there first shot. Yeah, <laughs> this pistol's so accurate. All right, let's get to shooting. <laughs> you can't, it's almost impossible to miss with this thing. Now I'm shooting some CCI green tag that CCI was nice enough to send me out of this pistol and it runs very very well guys <laughs> I love my Vakortsin alright the only bad thing about this pistol is it will run through the ammo very, very, very quickly. All right, first things first on it. Now, the grips. Now, these grips are rather large grips. I don't know if you can focus in on there. They're wider than your usual grips. But, and they are, it's, it's, it's a rubber grip, but it's not a real soft rubber. Uh, it feels good in my hands. Now, I have very large hands, okay? My mom always said I should have been a piano player. I took six years of lessons, but I never got out of the second book, so I didn't make for a good piano player. But the grips are large. Now, saying that, since I have large hands, they fit me. But I've let other people shoot it. I've let a couple of smaller women shoot it. And they pick it up, and they don't have a problem shooting it. They actually says, the first thing they notice says, hey, these grips are big. And then after that, they say, well, they don't feel bad. They actually feel pretty good. Uh, those are considered target grips. Now, on this pistol, now this is a, the Scorpion made by Vakorchin. You can get this thing in a lot of different configurations. Uh, I, I wanted red, okay? Uh, my friend Twangenbang said that this is pink. This is not pink. This is red, okay? Uh, I want it because most Ferraris are red, and this 22 pistol is a race gun. Now, the compensator on the end of it, let's do a quick safety check on it, make sure it is unloaded. It is unloaded. I don't like sticking my hand in front of the muzzle, but you can you can take this compensator off. Uh, it's actually, it's it's tight on there pretty good, but it comes with a little wrench that you put on there. You can take the compensator off and uh, you can thread your suppressor on there. A lot of people ask, why a compensator on a 22? Well, I tell you why. If you're shooting this pistol without a compensator, the barrel does rise a little bit, okay? It's not bad. But this pistol is designed to shoot matches with, especially speed matches, steel matches. And any advantage that you can have uh, to keep the front end of the barrel raising where you can get on your target almost immediately is a great advantage. It can cut some seconds off of your score. It does have a Picatinny rail on the top that is uh, milled onto the barrel. So you can throw any kind of optics. I've never thrown any kind of optics on here whatsoever. I will do that one day. And the rear sight is, of course, fully adjustable for windage and elevation. It takes Ruger Mark III magazines that I mentioned before, and the trigger is out of this world. Um, I've had probably, I don't know, 20, 30 people shoot this pistol by now. Uh, friends and friends that come over, and I went to a couple shoots that people wanted to shoot it. And the first thing they say after the first shot is, I wasn't expecting that. The trigger is very light. It's got a very short reset on it, and it's like a machine gun. So I've got 10 rounds left here. I'm just going to show you. Now, I, I don't have the fastest finger in the world. I'm not a Jerry Michalik or anything like that. Uh, my expertise is precision shooting, not fast shooting. But I can shoot it fairly quick. So I'm going to aim at that big white plate, see if I can put all 10 rounds on it pretty quick. So kept them all in a group, you know, fairly good size. That was 10 rounds. Now, if I practice that, of course, I could get a lot quicker. But let's back up a good ways 
and let's try out the accuracy at long range with this Vakortsen. I'm out here at 100 yards now. Got a challenge target, it's a 10 inch plate. I don't, I don't know exactly where these sights are at 100 yards, so I'm gonna go ahead and make excuses. Let's see if I can hit it a few times at least. Final thoughts on the Vakortsen Scorpion. When you look at this pistol, you probably think this pistol is very heavy. This pistol is actually extremely light. Um, a lot of times when people pick it up for the first time, they're like, man, I can't believe how light it is. It is very light. But guys, if you get a chance, go check out Vakortsen. Um, I get questions a lot um, about which pistol should I get, semi-automatic pistol, or what semi-automatic rifle should I get? And I always reply back to them, well, what's your limit? I need to know what you want to spend. Some people say two to three hundred dollars, some four to five hundred dollars, in which you can buy a really nice twenty-two pistol for under five hundred dollars. But some people reply back and say, hey, money's not an issue. And I always send them to Vakortsen every single time because this pistol actually shoots like a rifle. Now, this is not the only pistol or only barrel that they make by far. Um, they have a lot of different stuff that you can customize uh, any of your Rugers with, with uh, trigger groups and replacement barrels, and it, it just goes on and on and on. But go check them out. Like I said, this, this pistol will make a average shooter, a good shooter, a good shooter, a great shooter. But until next time, guys, be safe and keep plinking.